Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Sabella Martin was traveling with her husband William in evangelistic work. It was a bright, clean morning when Mrs. Martin set out on her journey to Elmira, New York. The eerie train would take some time to cover the 50 mile distance from Binghampton to Elmira, but she felt that every bump in the rails was worth it for the Lord was leading them again. Years later, she would say that it was the most important trip she had ever taken. In her own words, she tells us what happened that day in Elmira. I wrote the song, His Eye is on the Sparrow, in the company of a bedridden saint in the city of Elmira, New York. I was reading and singing to her, and during our conversation, I chanced to ask her if she did not sometimes get discouraged. She answered, Mrs. Martin, how can I be discouraged when my heavenly father watches over each little sparrow, and I know he loves and cares for me? My husband tried his hand at writing the music for it, but was not satisfied with the results. So a short time later, he mailed it to Mr. Charles H. Gabriel, who wrote the present music and sent it to Mr. Charles Alexander in England. The song was first sung in Royal Albert Hall during the great Tory Alexander revival in 1905. From there, it has gone all over the world. From the words of a child to the wisdom of an early saint, we are reminded in song that nothing is too little or too great for our Lord, since he has numbered the very hairs on our heads and counted the sparrows as they fall. In the words of Mrs. Martin, his eye is on the sparrow and I know he watches me. This was one of my favorite hymns as a child. I sang it as a solo many times in church and when my family would go to sing at nursing homes and other, at other congregations. When I first met Ken Wells back in late 1999, he was serving as the interim choir director at Abiding Christ, and I was his accompanist. I quickly found out that this was his favorite hymn. I sang it at his mom's funeral years later, and then in 2013, our choir sang it when Ken went to be with Jesus. His wonderful wife, Jan, is always so thankful when we sing this in church, and we will sing this again. Until then, I hope you enjoy as much as I do this recording of one of our youngest members, Josie Delleritt, singing His Eye is on the Sparrow. Thank you. 